Four surfers in the lineup. Ian Gouveia, Michael February, Hator, Alves, Charlie Martin. Two surfers from Brazil, a surfer from Guadalupe. And Michael Freestyle February from South Africa. Coming off a stellar run with fantastic competitive results. Michael February. Oh, I know he's one of your favorite surfers to watch. He's one of mine as well. What can we expect from Michael February in blue? A lot of freestyle. Here's the replay of Ian Gouveia down the line, building speed, blasting a huge frontside rotator, comes flying out with speed. That was amazing technique, beautiful form, and the wow factor. Said it before when that white water blows up around them and you don't know if they're gonna make it, and then they come out. It's gotta give you the extra initiative to throw out a score. I mean, that was just beautiful surfing. Finishes with a big slam on the inside, a 683 is rewarded. Replay, Charlie Martin trying to find some more action. Got a matching singlet and board in this heat. And then your surfer in white, Hator Alves. Warrior, veteran, beautiful blow tail, off the lip snap down to make it. Hator Alves puts in some time here, gets a 4.5, finding the inside connection. No. Hator, another air master. This dude was doing Yet to Full see freestyle six years ago. Yet to see freestyle February on a wave. Ooh, and he misses this one. The wave goes to Charlie Martin, who opens up on his backhand. Beautiful opening turn. Another big snap. Regaining control after kind of a precarious placement on that backside turn. And he could potentially have a reform here, put in a lot of work, trying to build up some momentum to get over this flat spot. And he's going to do it. See what this inside section has to offer. Real quick in there, and he goes down. So I'm, giving, him, I'm giving him extra points for uh, just the fashion? whole fashion statement with the board and the singlet, but unestimated whip around underneath February. Look, February just misses it, and then he's like, oh, I'll take this. Bam! Straight up into the lip, then finds another one just before he hits the pier. So holds it together, but no finish turn. You got to wonder if Michael February has the uh, ability to look up you know, depending on where that's, there's a giant screen up on the pier. And if he would have looked up and seen the wave that he just missed and handed over to Charlie, he would have to be a little bit rattled because that was a solid wave and that's yeah, where it's gonna come through big, a 757. Yeah. Charlie Martin, you're right. Unpredictable as well, just like this guy. Hator Alves, pumping down the line, looking for the ramp, goes up to the air. Fully realized. Front three, a bit of a revert out. He loves it. He threw up a shock acclaim into a fist pump shame, uh, claim right there, too. A mid-wave claim as well. That's amazing. I can't wait to see the finish. Uh, he's just pumping to this inside section, going to the backhand. Big vertical backside smash. Is he? Yeah, I can hear the yelling from here. Hey, Tor's feeling it. Show me the money. Beautiful. Out the back. Still clapping for himself. And why not? Great surfing. Solid down the line speed, throws it up into the lip, full rotator. Watch this guy go. Look at this. Finds it late. Boom, grabs. Let's go. Perfect rotation. I mean, technically, really hard to do. Did you see where he actually lifted off from the wave? It was already throwing out. Yeah. Most guys will be ramping off as it's throwing. It was already out, and he had to hit it and basically underneath it progress out and then slams it on the backhand to finish off right there. It's so hard to do that. Watch this. The lip's already falling when he's going up into it. He had to push through, flip out over it, all the way around, comes down in that falling whitewater. See how the whitewater was coming up, and then as he's coming down, he falls into it, and it basically cushions your whole landing. Yeah, in watching that replay, you saw upside down, full front side 540 landing with the nose pointing towards the beach. Hator Alves. Must have been fired up from the performance. Check the score. Carlos Munoz, it is coming through. It's big, 8.7. Meanwhile, freestyle February all the way to the beach. Goes with the big snap. I can't wait to see what February did on the outside of that wave. Oh, it might have been for Haytower's score, or it could be from freestyle's maneuvers. Let's take a look on the backhand. Slams it once. Looking for more. Another beautiful hit right there. Recovers. Little off kilter, 
But then he'll get back into it. There's that lanky style that you're not sure about anything that's going to happen out of this guy. Keeps the board moving, keeps the rails wet. That's what you want to see. Look at that, just finding flow, and then bingo on the inside. Smacks it away. De Instagram, eh, agradecerles por el apoyo y aquí vamos para la siguiente ronda. Apoyar a Nueve Mar, he's coming up en pura vía. Yeah. There you go, guys. We're going to see more of Carlos Munoz. He's on to the next round in great style. Wow, and just as Carlos Munoz gives the shout outs to Costa Rica, we see Ian Guvea throwing it up. Big tail high front side area. He gets, turns around to see Charlie Martin. What his technical aspects were. Here's Charlie Martin's wave, slamming it up into the lip. Nice hit right there. Second turn goes down. Crucial error right there. Already sitting on a 5 7 or a 7 5 7. Here's Ian Govea's boom, huge rotator off the lip. Almost completely rotates all the way around. That was a beautiful, great execution. And I feel like we're going to see a solid score coming across for this man. Look at him skipping across the face, building speed, telegraphing the lip line to find where he's going to go. Then he boosts up, grabs with the front arm. Throws it all the way around, lands in the lip, brings the tail all the way down through. Nose comes with it, throws the shaka. Big shaka. <laughs> Slop grab the shaka. The aspects of doing these airs. Here's a little replay tube time of Hator Alves on his wave. Not much, not going to be a huge score, but. Felt good. Style points <laughs> galore right there. Beautiful. Only wave. a surfer knows that feeling. That's right. Back grabs are. are can kind of add safety elements to the air. So we see Freestyle February on his backhand. Beautiful bottom turn. Just hung up a little bit, kind of creating a two-stager top turn. He's going to try to make his way to the beach. Could have a connector. Generating a lot of speed, a lot of movement. And he's looking for a ramp. Now if he gets the air, goes down, but yeah, to the grab, conversation you know there's variations on grabs and you'll see it in skateboarding you need the split second decision making of what grab you're gonna do that's why he got that huge score great first turn right there from February come around the corner kind of a two stage like you said the first turn really the money and then the rest of it a little bit of a, a bumble kind of fumble in the flow of the wave and then coming to the inside missing the air so score not gonna go excellent by any means, but you know, still, the opener was was really nice. So much action. Hey, to Alves, while we were away, oh, big slam, blows the tail, comes down with a lip. That was straight up PowerPoint progression, straight up into the lip, blows the tail out, rides the lip line, falls down with it, completes the maneuver, comes to the inside. Watch this backside tweak that he does in the lip on the inside right here. And then the forearm claim. Watch this. Bam! Comes down. Rawr. Yago, I'm a huge fan of as well. S milliseconds away from making it. February into a deep bottom turn. Snap flow combo. Body language tells me. Out of rhythm, out of sorts. He, he wanted. Out of rhythm, out of sorts right there for February. This whole heat, hasn't he hasn't looked like he's on point. Park series. Very excited to get going there in the park. But right now. The business is in the water, and Charlie Martin is trying to fight back. He needs a 6-6-3. Six, six, the beginning of that wave, kind of questionable. He needs a huge finish to solidify this score. What's he got on the inside? Building speed. Those are the quick layback snap. I just don't think the wave had a 7 on it. He, he did, did everything surf really he well on it, though. He did a great job. Could have been a little more aggressive out the back, I think, and flared out a little bit more of this round. It's just been amazing. Then right here, you can see, winding up for it. Guvea goes for the big straight air, comes down. Well, it was a great attempt. Would have been a massive front side when he, but he fell. The landing just wasn't there. Yeah. Too fluffy. Struggling, right? You can see on pace, but here's Charlie. Throws it up into the lip for a double slam right there, so. It was good, a 5-6-3. Kind of got a two-for-one out of it. 
I think if he would have tried to maybe miss that first section, draw deep and gone wham, really hard up through the lip and throwing the tail, he would have come away with a little bit more of a score than he got. He doesn't need much right here on the replay. Here's our man, Michael Freestyle February. Beautiful first hit, nice second hit as well. Looking for a third on the corner, and he's going to get out of there. Watch. Here we go, Charlie Martin. He's close. He's within range. Goes to the back three. Blows out the back. Still needing a 6-8, six, a 6-6-3. Six, six, Come on, Just Charlie. Just under four minutes to go. Stick to that power game. We know you've got straight up vertical surfing. Blow that. Here we go. Looking like surfer in white, your current leader, Hector Alves. Quick snap, running down the line. Finds himself in a tube, doggy doors. Well, that was a cool pocket ride, not super deep. But watch out for that pier, hey, Tor. And right behind him, Michael February. Like he was having a quick look at that last wave. And you hear the crowd going nuts. We do have a swell update. The swell running today in the primary swell for the past couple of days. That wasn't uh, generated by Hillary or Irwin. It was from a southern hemisphere storm. And here's a cool angle. Let me tell you something. This is the same swell that we got down at the Puerto Escondido Challenge. You said it yesterday, Strider. These guys are going to be surfing the same waves we saw Kai Lenny take that incredible victory on. I saw Michael February go absolutely nuts. OK, here's the replay of our man Haytar getting his, his top hit to a little tube time and coming out the corner. But guess what? Remember what I said about getting complacent, letting your opponents creep in? Well, guess what happened? Michael February creeped in the back door. Watch this. Finds a little off the bottom combo, slams it straight up, coming around the corner. Bingo again, two beautiful backside slams. Goes for the elated claim and pulls back. Realizes there's more work to be done on this wave. He's going to find himself on the inside. So he, he's got a 7-1-0 on his ride, and then he gets this. I mean, are you kidding me? Look at this finish. Bam! He slams it home right there. Wow. Don't have fun till the work is done, Strider. Well, hats off to Freestyle February and Haytor Alves. Solid finish for your surfer from South Africa, who was in fourth place. The majority of that heat now finds himself skyrocketing up to first, advancing through unofficially with Hector Alves. So much more surfing to come. You've got Ezekiel Lau, Michael Rodriguez, Eric DeVries, Noimar McGonagall, Hawaii, Brazil, South Africa, Costa Rica, and International Superheat coming up. Stay tuned, folks. You're watching the Vans U.S. Open of Surfing.